Hi everyone, I'm back with another travel vlog and this time I'm heading to Vienna. My journey started off a little bumpy since I had two delays which led to me catching a red eye out of San Diego to Toronto. As a little background, I am flying to Vienna for business, however I am incorporating some leisure activities and I did bring my mom along with me for this trip. If you recall from last year, I was also in Air Canada's signature suite, however I didn't have a sufficient amount of time to experience the fine dining. This time around, my mom and I were able to experience this. She had the tuna tataki, I had the summer harvest salad. For our mains, I had the seared halibut and she had the panko crusty shrimp. Everything here exceeded our expectations and it felt as if we were dining at a Michelin star restaurant. For dessert, I opted for a strawberry sorbet and my mom got the passion fruit meal fry. It did take approximately one hour for our three course meal, so if you have ample time, I would highly recommend this place. There are different sections to Air Canada's signature suite, and once we finished our meal, we opted to sitting in the salon. The Air Canada business suite seats were incredibly comfortable, and the seats had the capability of going 100% lie flat. My mom and I were seated right next to each other in the middle of row 7. I do love the amenity kit. It is Aqua de Parma and it includes a variety of things from socks, an eye mask, an eyeglass cleaner, and it also included mouthwash, a dental kit, as well as some lip balm and some hand cream. I felt like I kept eating during the entirety of this trip but was excited for the meal service to begin. My mom and I both got the panko crusted chicken. Following our meal, it was time to fade away into a deep slumber. I typically don't sleep well on planes, but I only woke up when I heard the sound of utensils clanking, which was signifying that breakfast was imminent. 30 minutes later, my plane landed and we were in Vienna. There's so much history and culture in the city and just looking at these buildings, it's breathtaking and mesmerizing. This was my first glimpse of Vienna and I was in love. Hey guys, so I just arrived in Vienna and I want to give you a quick tour of my room. So let me flip the camera. All right, so this is the entry foyer. All my luggage is here. I traveled with my mom, that's why we have three. Come here, you're greeted with a full length mirror. And then you have this small window. You have this amazing bathroom. Walk-in shower, I mean, it looks nice. You've got the sink area. The toilet, turning back around, here you have a closet, coffee maker, refrigerator, <gasps> iron safe, refrigerator, let's see, closing this back up, this is nice wood, I like the gold accents, you have a desk area here which I will be using plenty. The TV Entertainment Center, a little chair, and a king size bed. So, this is the King Corner Suite room. It's at the Hilton Vienna Plaza. As of now, I am seeking refuge from the humidity and heat here in Vienna with the AC in my room, catching up on some worst of the items I brought for, for pleasure rather than business. I'm also incorporating some leisure activities in here as well. I did bring my mom on this trip. We are hopping on a plane to Paris afterwards and then potentially some other European, neighboring European countries. All the European countries are just so close to each other. It's easily accessible via plane or train so we're gonna hop on different modes of transportation to get there. As of this moment I am enjoying Vienna. The sights are amazing. I haven't tried authentic Viennese food but I will be going to a very well-known place in a bit. As the afternoon quickly crept upon us my mom and I decided to leave our room. As always I create an itinerary for every place I visit and the first stop was Yori for lunch. This place serves authentic Korean food and of course I went for the bibimbap. It was incredibly delicious. No meal is complete without dessert so we made our way to Cafe Sasher. This place popped up in all of my research on Vienna for its infamous chocolate Sasher torte. A reservation is highly recommended unless you want to spend hours on end waiting outside in the humidity. 
We got the Sasher Punch Dessert with a hint of rum, the Melange, which is a Viennese coffee specialty, the Vienna Iced Coffee, and of course, we couldn't leave without trying the infamous chocolate torte. Rather than walking back to our hotel, we opted for an Uber since the humidity and heat was getting a bit too unbearable. Whenever I'm in a new city, walking is my preferred mode of transportation. However, I must admit that there are many positive attributes to being in a car. Besides the air-conditioned environment, you get an incredibly beautiful view of the city within the comfort of your car. I've had wafers in the States, but I knew I had to try authentic Viennese wafers. Although their origin has been hotly contested, they're tasty nonetheless. We got dinner at a place called Fat Monk, which is a healthy equivalent to Chipotle in the States. Went out to get dinner, and it's just beautiful. It looks like it's going to rain soon, so making my way back to the hotel. I am glad we made it back to the hotel when we did because once we got into the hotel room, it started pouring. For my first official day at the conference, I'm re-wearing a classic black and white ensemble. I love conferences not only because I get to learn and immerse myself in new things in the field, but rather because I get to catch up with colleagues in 3D. After venturing through the exhibit hall and looking at posters, I wanted to catch up on some work. I found a quiet spot above ground and that's when I spotted someone familiar. Of all the places in the world, I never imagined I would run into my old mentor in Vienna. We haven't spoken since 2018, so it was nice to catch up. Good afternoon, guys. Just finished all my meetings for today. I'm at the Messi Conference Center. For food, my mom and I went to a Vietnamese restaurant. I couldn't fathom how hot it already was in the early afternoon. The UV index was high and it felt as if it got warmer as time progressed. My mom and I explored a famous open air market, Nash Market. When it got too unbearable, we sought out a gelato place. I got the coffee and fresh mango flavors, which was definitely a refreshing treat and a great contrast to the temperature we were experiencing. I knew I wanted to capture some content of the hotel, and since the lobby was pretty empty, I was able to snap this. After cooling off for a few hours, we went back outside to find dinner. I made a reservation at a Mediterranean restaurant, and I read on TripAdvisor that the window seat was the best in the house. I requested it, and they honored it, so we sat at the window and ate some delicious Greek food. Since it was much cooler, we took a stroll around the city and admired the beautiful architecture, the buildings, and the surrounding areas. There was so much culture to absorb and honestly not enough time. I'm back in my hotel room in comfortable clothes and just figuring out what to eat for lunch. It is really windy today, which is making it pretty difficult to dress up. And it's kind of cold, which is a nice change of pace from the humid, hot weather we've been having. We soon ventured back out to Yori, the Korean restaurant, and had another round of bibimbap. I don't typically eat spicy food, but I sure piled it on for this trip. We then ventured into some small shops along with an Italian bakery and of course we couldn't leave without getting dessert. 
I am back at my hotel and resting before jumping onto a meeting and heading to the company dinner. My mom and I got cake, I just enjoyed it. It was windy today, so it made the heat tolerable. It was still hot. It is supposed to rain in a few minutes, so we'll see how true that holds. This is my last evening in Vienna. Afterwards, I'm going to a new city. I do like the fact that there is a big time difference, so I'm able to enjoy the city and life in the daytime and just jump on to work in the late afternoon. It really does work out and I am saving my vacation days for my domestic travels where it's really not possible to do both, but as of now, I'm enjoying it while I can. We had authentic Viennese cuisine as finger food for the event, and it was at the Startup House in Vienna, which is very close to the conference center. My colleague and I decided to hop onto the metro, which was probably a bad idea since we got a little lost and had to walk quite a bit. We woke up at an ungodly hour to catch a taxi to the airport and make it on our flight to Paris. It was already bright outside, and it was nice to see the streets so empty. We hung out at the airport for a bit, looked at the duty-free shops, and then soon hopped on our plane. If you look in the distance, you can see the Eiffel Tower. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.